Welcome to the Teen and Tween Craft Program. I'm Miss Carla and I work for the St. John's County Public Library System. Today we are making a lucky banner for St. Patrick's Day. And if you've had a kit from the library, uh, you're going to have uh, seven strips of green cardstock. You're going to have a page of letters that spell out lucky. And you are going to have a couple of shamrocks and you're going to have a piece of twine or string. If you don't have a kit from the library, what you're going to need are probably these, this is a 12 by 12 sheet of cardstock. You're gonna need three of those. Uh, each one of these is going to make three strips and uh, then you will not have an extra strip. You will also need something to cut out your letters and your shamrock. So, Keep that in mind. Uh, if, you, if you do have a kit, you are going to need some additional materials. You're gonna need a glue stick or some glue. You're gonna need a pencil. You're going to need a pair of scissors. And you are going to need a ruler. So if you don't have a kit from the library, one of the first things you're going to have to do is you're going to have to cut your cardstock into three equal strips, which is going to be four inches wide. And I have a paper cutter here that I used. And so that is my four inch strip. Now the other thing that is on the strips that you have in your kit, I scored those at the six inch part just to make them fold a little bit better. So that's how I did that. Now if you don't have uh, a paper cutter it's you can still do this with a ruler and of course I and you can just measure four inches across and what I have here actually is a T square just makes it a little bit easier but you just need to measure in four inches across on your your paper make a little dot and then you're going to connect those dots. Okay. There, can't find my dot there. Okay. So I'm gonna, you can, you know, go ahead and connect your dots and then you can take your scissors and go ahead and cut your strips. And you, of course, would do that until you had all seven of your strips. Okay. So that's what you would do if you don't have a kit from the library. And then you can, of course, you can still fold it in half and you don't really have to score it. That just makes it a little bit easier, helps it um, lie a little bit flatter. So let's go ahead and act like we have a kit from the library then. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to take your strips and you're gonna have seven of them and you're going to fold them in half on that score line. And sometimes it doesn't line up exactly right, but as you see, that's not gonna matter. You do want to really, really press this down or your banner's not going to lay flat. So really, really do that well. And, and I've gone ahead and folded the rest of them, but you're going to do that the seven times. And the next thing that we're gonna to need to do is to make this triangular shape. So what we're going, uh, you're going to take your ruler and you're going to measure in at two inches and put a little dot and you want it right on the edge of the paper. And then you're going to go over to each side and you're going to measure a quarter one and a quarter inches up and make your dot right on the edge. Go to the other side. One and a quarter inches. And then you're going to connect those dots. Line. That 
gray. So now we have our triangle drawn on there, and then we're going to take our scissors and you're going to cut through both layers of your paper. Okay, so now we have our triangle shape, and then you're going to do that for all of your uh, strips of paper, but you don't have to redo that every time. What you can do is take that first one that you've done and you're going to open it up and line it up really well. And you can go ahead and draw your line. Now, it's important, I'm gonna put this one over here out of the way because I don't want to take this one and draw the next one because each time you draw that line, you might get a little less accurate. So you want to always go back to the original one that you measured out when you do the next one. So you want to go ahead and cut this one. I'm going to take another one, but I'm going to go back to that original one that I drew. I'm going to do that same thing again. So I already did the rest of them, so I have all of my triangles. So now I have all of these cut, there should be seven, and lay those aside. And the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and I'm going to take my letters and I'm going to cut those out. And we don't want to cut on the lines because that's a nice pretty pattern. So we want to cut just outside of those lines. Okay. Now one of the things that you can do with your scissors is always start way back at the back and go this way. Use the full length of your scissors and that's gonna make a straighter cut in the long run. So I'm just going to go up, up that whole strip. cut these out that you don't have to do it in the order that I did this is just what's comfortable for me you could cut them out one at a time if you wanted to like on this one but just whatever's comfortable for you So now I have all of those cut out. And the next step that we have would be to go ahead and just start um, gluing our shamrocks and our letters on. I like using a glue stick. And if you're, if you're kind of awkward at judging distance, if you wanted to, you could measure. And it's going to be about an inch and a quarter down that you want to st place your um, all of your letters and your shamrocks about an inch and a quarter down from the top. So 
it would have helped if I had cut my hair. So yeah, it's an inch and a quarter. It's about an inch and a quarter down. You could also just kind of line them all up and, and eyeball it. Just whatever's comfortable for you. But I'm not that great at judging distance myself, so I have a tendency to use the ruler. But there's absolutely no reason for you to do that. Okay, so once you have all of that glued on, you would just take your string and I don't know if you're going to put it on the mantle or the wall or whatnot, but you would just put your string up on the wall and then you would just put your letters in order. shamrocks on the end. And you would have your decoration all finished for St. Patrick's Day. But before we end, I want to make sure and thank our friends of the library for funding all of our craft programs. Thank you, and I'll see you again next time.